I've got a superpower. And in this video, I'm going to show you six different ways to use it. Number one, how to clean unwanted paint off a model. I'm putting a black dye in the middle of my Space Marine pauldron for a very good reason. Getting paint onto the wrong surface happens to me all the time. And the answer to that is to let it dry. I know, bear with me. So my latest hobby superpower is the humble toothpick. Before you start scratching away, it's really important to get the end of the toothpick wet first. You can do this by chewing or you can do it by soaking it in some water. It's up to you. Begin to gently rub at the paint with the tip of the toothpick and you'll see the paint start to slowly rub away. Before that cleaned area dries, wipe it away with a tissue paper and see what's left. And if you need to go back in again, there's no harm in repeating this step until the model is completely clean. If towards the end, the surface is still looking a bit stained, find a clean toothpick or just use the sides of the toothpick you're using and rub that over it instead and then give it a final wipe down. Look at that, good as new. I actually learnt this a couple of weeks ago from Roman Lepat and it was so cool I had to show it with you lot too. Thanks so much Roman. Just to be absolutely clear here, we're talking about regular toothpicks. You know the sort you can buy for about three quid for about a thousand? Yeah, the link down below if you want a pack. And to answer the question nobody's asking, no, I wasn't expecting to disappear down a YouTube rabbit hole about making toothpicks either. But if inexplicably that's your jam, I've also linked this video down below too. The second incredible way you can use toothpicks is for basing. Obviously you don't have to use them for explosions like I did here, but it is pretty cool. To make a base like this is actually pretty simple. You just buy some 30ml pine cubes, I've linked them down below, I actually hacked the corner off this just to make it a little bit more interesting. Then mix up some two-part modelling compound and I stick it all over the top of that cube. I actually didn't intend to do this but it turns out toothpicks are also pretty handy at working modelling compound into all the little gaps and crevices. So that's exactly what I did. Once I'd finished neatening everything up, I then broke up lots of toothpicks pointy side up into a variety of lengths and popped them off to one side. Sometimes the simple ideas are the best ones. All I did next was simply arrange those toothpicks in a vague approximation of an explosion using the toothpicks I'd just snapped. Then I placed on my model and I let the whole thing dry. That's it. A bit of work with some basing and eventually we'll end up with something that looks like this. I don't know about you, but I think it's going to look great. Now this seems like the perfect time for an interlude. Ah, turned off again. As I was saying, if this video has been useful, there's lots of ways you can support me other than by just clicking on like and subscribe. One of the best ways to do though is by clicking on the links in the description, including that to NordVPN, which will not only keep you safe online, but allow your kids to have access to their favorite shows when you're on holiday. Ah, peace. As well as giving me a little kickback too. So thank you, and thanks NordVPN. Number three is about painting eyes. It's really easy to paint wonky eyes. <laughs> this is another really simple trick I learned from Roman Lepat. Take a toothpick, wet the end, and then dip it in some paint. Then on a piece of paper, make lots and lots of dots until you're getting an even shape and you build up enough confidence to give it a go on the model. If the model's eyes are really small, you might even need to sharpen the toothpick down once that's done though, just keep your hands steady and have at it. Now I'm going to be perfectly honest with you here. While I did get better at painting eyes with toothpicks, I actually still prefer a brush with a sharp point. But lots of people raved about this technique when I first heard about it. And if you give it a go, let me know in the comments how you got on with it. I think that'd be fun. Before was a bit of a surprise entry for me. I absolutely love it when stuff like this happens. I literally just stumbled across this when I was mucking about after trying to paint lots of little eyes with toothpicks and thought I'd have a go at stippling on colour onto a model. This is a technique I've done quite a lot with a brush, but it actually works really well with a toothbrick too. The basic principle doesn't take a lot of explaining. Simply start with your darker colour and then move following the zenithal pattern on the highlights to progressively lighter and lighter colours as you go. Eventually, I was left with something that sort of looked like a flowery headband, and I really liked the effect. This is something I will definitely be trying again, so 
so stay tuned for that video in the future or hop over to my free Discord server and check on progress over there. After this tip I've got one more absolute banger, but this one is probably the most obvious thing you can use with a toothpick, and that is drilling and pinning your models. I'm using the Vispay pen drill that I reviewed a couple of videos back, but obviously you can just use a pin vise too, whatever's easiest for you. Once you've drilled a hole that's deep enough, I'm using a 3 mil bit here, you then just simply insert the toothpick straight into that model and you've got a little mini painting handle that you can then use. Sure, it's not as comfortable as an actual painting handle, but if you want one of those, you can pick it up from the links down in the description below. Honestly though, these are so cheap, you'd be silly not to have them in your toolbox. And if you're thinking that toothpicks aren't the best options for pinning models, then yeah, you'd be right, but they are the low budget version. If you're gonna pin resin models that you spend a lot of money on though, it's well worth using these brass rods. They'll give you a much more secure fit and you don't have to worry about them snapping at some point in the far future. One area where toothpicks really do excel though is when you're sticking together XPS foam. Do you remember this foam? I did it in my travel Warhammer video and I don't know if you remember this but I spent ages messing around with magnets so they could make little columns and stacks and that works fine but I really wish I'd just done this. Stick a toothpick in, point up and then literally just put the other piece of foam right on top. Nice. As I say, the best ideas are off. So that's it, just some simple advice this time. As ever, a huge thank you to all my patrons and people who follow me over on my Discord. I really appreciate it, you know I do. And for people just watching, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.